Hi, I'm Lynn. For those that don't know me, I breed and show toy poodles under the kennel Stepanel in the UK. This is Ernie, one of my current show dogs. I bred him myself. He's 16 months old. And I do a lot of videos, um, live videos on Instagram on our page, which is called Mojo's Club. Um, we generally do a grooming video um, once a week or so, sometimes more. Um, pet grooming, show grooming, anything that people ask me about. So I thought I'd do a quick video on show dog coat maintenance today. And I'm going to put this on YouTube for the first time, although I do have a YouTube channel. I don't often use it, so uh, I thought this is a good opportunity. He needs a good brush. Um, he was only bathed a couple of days ago because he's a young dog and he's brown. Uh, they just tangle up. He's not had a collar on. <laughs> he's I, He's been conditioned. I, I spray him and brush him every day. So he had a day off yesterday. Um, so I can feel that he's, he's starting to tangle up. So what I'm going to do today is brush him through and spray him and show you how I keep all this beautiful coat in good condition. So here we go. So I use a variety of brushes and combs, which I didn't have out. Um, I do like my maiden pin brush. Uh, I like the, the, that, that length of pin on a toy. And I like my doggy man um, slicker, <laughs> uh, which is a big one, but um, seems to do a nice finish on them. So that's the one I use. I, I use a small one as well on puppies. And then I've got my um, number one all systems uh, poodle comb, which is absolutely invaluable. This is ancient. Actually, this is as well. Um, I get quite attached to my equipment <laughs> and tend to keep it this is actually starting to fall to pieces so I will have to get a new one at some time so um, if you've ever shown a poodle or you want to show a poodle you'll know that we have to layer layer brush them layer groom them um, you don't want to be pulling loads of hair out when when you find a tangle um, you don't want to be pulling loads of hair out full stop um, but he's going right through the middle of coat change at the moment. He's not very happy about this, I have to say. He's such a diddums. But anyway, <clears throat> I will start in the middle. Um, I do oil them sometimes. I do keep them in oil. Uh, sometimes. I haven't for a little while because we've had a little bit of sunshine in the UK. And him being brown, I've been a little bit worried about him... Um, it cooking him, making him go orange, and he's already was orange last year. So I'm just going to give him a little spray with some coat spray. Today I'm using Melanie Newman Salon Essentials, the Refresh Coat Conditioning Spray, which smells absolutely gorgeous. And I start off with my pin brush, and I've made a line sort of down the, down his spine and separate it. Now now it's started, he'll accept it, but I think that little bit, just before you start, they get a little bit, oh, what are you doing? Are you going to bath me? Are you going to dry me? What are you going to do? Um, so you don't want to drench the coat, but you definitely want to ever so slightly coat it in the spray and work both sides of that parting with your pin brush and this is when I'll know if it's tangled or not if I can get this through and you can see there is slight resistance there so that means it's just starting to get tangled again some of it's fine there look that's fine but some of it is a little bit tangled you can see these this is what you get off when dogs are changing the poodles are changing coat you get all these little wispy little teeny tiny knots and it's very, very frustrating because you only had one day off <laughs> and that's how quickly <clears throat> they can get tangled. And uh, it truly is a labor of love, but it's so worth it when you see them in the ring. So then I'll do my next layer. I only take a small amount, say about half an inch. And spray again. Your big guys, like your standards, 
Um, they'll probably lie down for this. I'm sure some people get their toys and miniatures to lie down as well, but I've never had one yet <laughs> that's wanted to be uh, lying down while I'm torturing them, as they, they think. Uh, so if you find a tangle, just really support it at the root and just just get it out gently. Don't just yank it out because you every time you do that, you're losing coat. So that comb is just about going through, but there are a few of these little bits coming out, which is breaking my heart, but it's all part of coat change. It, the texture of his coat has changed the last couple of months. I've got his sister as well. She's got still got a very, very soft coat. Um, he's slightly changing. He's not, she's not got as much as him and she tank or she gets really bad because it's not as thick as his. It seems to me the thicker coats don't seem to get um, as tangled. So I'm gonna work on my next half an inch and give that a spray. So I'll just lift this up to show you. We do do a proper line. Um, let's just get that balanced again. And then just brush that through to the root, to the from the roots to the tips of the hair. And this is only his body coat. I've not done his neck yet. This is just the body part of his coat. I'll try and get him round again. He's only a baby, so and being brown, they're such oh, they can be such babies, the boy ones can, they really can. The little girls tend to be like little tough nuts in browns, but the boys tend to be little babies. So I'm still getting some of these these little tendrils out that just let me know that he is, he is actually changing coat. That And that's why he's getting tangled. Um, until they're about oh, 11 months old, to be honest, you very rarely get a tangle. It's like the golden time. <laughs> um, but once they start getting sort of mature that you know the coat has to go through this this change and of course it's 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 always worse because it's long so the, the bits on their pack here and their legs tend to not get tangled at all but obviously you still have to check them but they don't it's it's always the the longer bits that because that's got Probably the more the I mean, obviously this has been trimmed and the puppy coat's trimmed and trimmed and trimmed. So you've got um, adult coat coming through quicker. Whereas this has still got the puppy coat somewhere in it, and obviously it seems to tangle into the adult coat. I think that's why we, as groomers, we often have trouble with doodles <clears throat> that are mixed with poodles because of the coat change and people like the doodles fluffier sort of like with a, a big coat and then that tangles in with the retriever or what they're cross with and that's why they all end up not all of them but a, a high percentage of them end up getting sheared off at around about the year old because people can't control the coat I mean I'm a professional groomer I've been a groomer for th over 30 years and I still <laughs> struggle to keep their coats nice so if you don't know what you're doing it's 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 a shock but I would say if you keep on top of it like I I do um, it is definitely easier on you although you have, you have to commit the time to it and it's definitely easier on the dog because if you having to start to mess around with knots they get upset they don't like it and they start to um, not enjoy grooming at all. I'm not saying Ernie particularly enjoys grooming, but he accepts it because I've never pulled, I've never pulled a knot on him um, or anything. I've never let it get that bad. Um, he's had a few tangles, but nothing ever ever serious. Not not anything serious. So now you can see the comb is is going through a lot easier on the bit that I've already worked on. It's, it's just gliding through which is what, what you want. So that's right from the root 
to the tip it's going through lovely um, so I'm going to turn him around again good boy that's it so I'm going to spray him it's the, it's the lightest of mist you don't want them soaked and you can actually do this as well if you go if you're going to show your poodle actually do this at a show as well um, just very very light you don't want to get them wet you just want to work the coat get all the static out find a spray that suits your dog's coat see what everyone else is using what they recommend uh, I can remember when I went to my first show a couple of shows I had not one clue what I was doing um, I didn't even have a table <laughs> to groom my poodle on I didn't have any hairspray I didn't have anything and uh, someone took me under their wing and did my little poodles uh, my little first show dog Tufty did her top knot for me and um, that was us initiated into showing them all the stuff that you need to show dogs especially poodles so this is starting to look more uh, contr under control now and this bit actually wasn't tangled at all but they have certain places where they they definitely are more prone to tangling seems to me that the, the spine is is one sit down darling that's it um, because obviously they play he's playing with his sister and I've got other poodles as well they're all playing and grabbing each other around the back of the neck and on the foot on the mane and so the top bit would be the bit where they get got so just do another line he's been a very good boy now aren't you Ernie so he was meant to be at a show yesterday but I've got a few problems with my eyes at the moment I can't get my contact lenses in I'm going to wear my specs and uh, they're not quite the right prescription for me to do a big long journey so we didn't go so hence he got no grooming at all yesterday would have been getting groomed and faffed around with if we'd obviously been to the show but on the plus side i don't need to wash all his spray out his um, hairspray out because he's he didn't he didn't go so but this is all starting to come through nicely now it's a bit repetitive but that's what it is it is what it is so just start making your line again your new line now you're getting more to a bit where uh, it will probably be potentially tangled again because this is where the moving joints of the dog are we're starting to get to elbows shoulders so anything that moves the joints that that seems to be a bit of a danger zone for tangling um, you know, often if you're not careful get massive knots in their armpits so quickly so you really really must check those um, sometimes um, I just will put the dryer on him or his sister on cool and just check the coat over uh, to see if the, and then if there's a tangle somewhere you see it immediately because it sticks out like a sore thumb and with the dryer separating the coat um, but now now he's in coat change I, I can't I, I just I just brush him now I just know I'm gonna have to do it so I just do this so and he's done quite a bit of winning as um as a youngster sit down darling He's very glamorous. He's got a beautiful coat. Uh, he's, he's immature in other ways, but he certainly has got a coat that that is very eye-catching. And um, we often get um, compliments about his coat and, um, and how he looks and how he carries himself. Um, that's all down to training and if anyone's interested I can do a video I did I think somewhere in the distant memory there's a video on my YouTube channel of me showing Ernie's granddad Dominic but probably at a show and then probably something in in a, in a garden while I'm practicing with him uh, but it I mean 
Now, Ernie's granddad is, is 14 in July, so it was a long time ago. Um, but I think it's on there, but I've, I've neglected my U YouTube channel, I'll, I'll say. Because um, I've not shown, I've not particularly shown a poodle or, or any dog um, since Dom, who I've still got. Uh, because I've done other things like agility, and trick training and things like that. Uh, right, so we're getting now to his, his, his undercarriage. So obviously on a toy, this is very small little area, especially if they sit down like he just has. So you, you, you kind of need them to stand up or lie down, one or the other really. Um, but I would never force him to lie down. If he, if he offered it, I would, I would be very glad and I would use it, but he, he just, I just don't think he's relaxed enough to do that. So obviously with a boy poodle, um, when they go for a wee, they get it all on this fur under here. So it's a bit, can be a bit sticky, a bit smelly. So just gonna very gently work that, that spray through. And this is, it smells of lemon and what's it got in it? Lemon, myrtle, citrus and avocado. It does smell absolutely gorgeous. But I will have to do him again tomorrow, probably. So. That's it. So. I don't think there's any tags there at all. Apart from just a bit where he's still a little bit sticky from where he's probably just had a wee. Just brush it through, but don't, don't yank. Be gentle. And then if you check in his armpit, he <laughs> says I'm sitting down for that. And check it with your fingers and if you can feel anything at all, you know, you're going to have to work on that. So that's one side. So then I'm going to sit him down. Good boy, sit down. And then I'm going to work on this bit here. So obviously I have to do the other side, but um, this video would be like, gone with the wind <laughs> if I don't draw a line somewhere so I'm just going to do his neck so I do this the other direction I find the neck is is the worst bit again obviously the neck running into the shoulders there's movement there um, anything that is moving tends that tends to be wet and he has got he's, he's got the start of tangles in there already and yet he was brushed right through on Sunday he was in on, on um, yeah two days ago uh, he was immaculate so it doesn't take long uh, if I find a little knot rather than just pull it out I will separate it with my fingers give it a spray so if if any um, I generally free run them on a field a safe field and um, if I he won't because it's a private field he hasn't got a collar on um, but if he was going anywhere where I needed to keep him on his lead he has um, a rolled leather collar or he's got a coat saver um, which are lovely that's his sister's there which are lovely, they're made out of silk and they they supposedly stop the coat matting up uh, and they are pretty good for show day but I would say if, you, if your puppy's going to wear it, young dog's going to wear it for a long time um, it will still it will still tangle up um, unfortunately your adult coat probably not so much um, but on definitely on young coats like this there's anything, anything that causes friction on the coat is going to cause knots. Uh, so just be aware. When I put his, his um, rolled leather collar on, I draw a line through his coat at the skin with a tail comb and place, place the, uh, the collar on that line. And 
that. Um, if it if it stays on the line, it shouldn't tangle up. To, it'll be minimal. Um, so that's the best way. But if you once you start putting hairspray on them to, for the show, um, and you're kind of hairspraying that that um, collar into the coat, then you will obviously there's, you've got no option. You have to wash wash that hairspray out. It will tangle. Um, where the collar's been and everything on a young dog. Not so much on an adult dog, but certainly on a youngster it will. So we're getting through this now. It's not actually as bad as I, I thought. It's a good boy, but I still sort of stick to the line, the line method, but just round his neck. And if the weather changes in the next day or two, I'll probably, it gets a bit duller, I'll probably um, probably oil him up as well, but that's another video. So we're getting, we're getting there now. So you just need to try the comb. Don't, don't be, don't go to yank it. Just try very gingerly from the skin. And if it goes through, yay. And if it doesn't just get Possibly spray again. Um, get your you get your um, pin brush. Work a little bit more, and then you need to know that there's no tangles like this. So um, his hair's incredibly long. <laughs> yeah, even though I trimmed it at the last show, it just grows and grows like weeds. Uh, so that that's how I layer groom Ernie. And my other poodle. I hope it's been some use to somebody. And I'm going to stop there. He needs the other half done, but um, I'm going to stop there. So you can see um, that coat is just lying better. It looks better because it's brushed all the way through. Whereas the other side that I've not done, me and my darling, is is uh, looks still okay, but it looks you know there could be anything in there so that's my next job is doing the other side and then I'll do his head and brush his legs very gently and that'll be him done until tomorrow <laughs> anyway I hope this has been useful to somebody take care bye bye any questions just put them in the comments below have a good day